We finally got the soul reward. And in this video, we are going to see how broken this champion is with the max amount of stacks. Not exactly max amount, but I went a little bit overboard and I went for 5,000 stacks in order for us to see the absolute limits of this champion. What you need to know about soul, your passive is going to collect Stardust. The Stardust is going to be like Vaker's uh, passive that, that you're going to have some stacks from the champions. Every time that you're using your Q, your E or your R, you're going to have a certain amount of Stardust. The Stardust is going to be from the passive and it's going to increase the overall effects of your skills, all four of them. Let's say that normally you don't have 5,000 stacks and you're going to have much less, but if you got right now, for the for the sake of the video, if you got right now 5,000 stacks, you're going to have the following the following stats here. Check this out. So your, your passive, still, still Dragon of Death, you're going to say, so your passive right now is going to increase your Breath of uh, Light, that's going to be your Q, additional 155% max health magic damage. So your Q alone is going to do... 155% <laughs> max HP damage. Let's go for the next one. Your W is going to have a global range. As you can see, after going and hovering your W, it's not showing something on the minimap. That means that it's going to be global. That means that I can click anywhere that I want and I will just go and travel there. Let's just uh, go for the A. So your E right now is going to be a huge, huge black hole. Guys. Let's just say that after seeing the range of this, as you can see on the screen, you are not even going to believe that. With the passive, you are going to increase. You are going to increase the execute number to one hundred and thirty-five percent. So, if one hundred percent max HP uh, is going to be bad, imagine to die with thirty-five percent more. Because you are going to, you're going to have 35% from their uh, second life. So 35% to just kill them over, over and over again. So we are going to see about that. It's going to do magic damage per second and it's going to drag the enemies towards the center. And the enemies that are going to be in the center will receive the 135% max health and die instantly. It's going to be an execute. Realize that. That means that if they are below 135% of their HP, they are going to die instantly. Your R right now. Your R is going to take a meter and throw it to the enemies. As you can see, the range is going to be a little bit too much. As you can see, it's going to be the entire screen. Right now. What your passive does is that it's going to increase the, the, the AOE effect of this by, I'm not sure if this number is going to be 350% or 350,000%. Probably it's going to be 350. So let's go 350%. I'm not sure about the number here. It's, it's a little bit strange, but okay. So the effect is going to be, it's going to look like this. Let's see the Let's skills right now. So your Q is going to do damage every second. And after a full second of uh, the effect, it's going to do the best damage that we talk about. Check this out. I need to mention something here. This here got 270 magic resist and 4,000 HP. And we managed to one shot it two seconds three seconds okay so we are seeing 539 magic damage per second that's going to be something certain doesn't it matter the one that is changing is going to be the second effect that after a full a full second of breath of light you're going to do uh, you're going to do additionally 450 damage that's going to be huge and right now is the passive effect Another 150% max HP damage. So this here is doing 150% max HP damage, magic damage. That's why it's so low. If you go for a lower armor target, a magic resist target, for example, this one got 100, 100 magic resist. So it's instant. And this one got 100, and this one got zero. Yeah, the zero percent is going to be a little bit uh, higher. 
can see right now Yuri. Yuri is going to summon a huge black hole. A huge black hole that's going to... Let me just have this one. Just perfect. That is going to bring the enemies towards the center. Are you ready for the rains? Take this out. <laughs> um... Wait, 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 I broke the game, guys. Normally, normally you can't kill the dummies. Normally you can't kill the dummies, but I kill, <laughs> I kill them. I, I can't believe this. <laughs> okay, so normally, normally you can't do that. <laughs> After using your ear like that, <laughs> Why I kill those and I can't kill that? So, whatever got lower than 135% of their max HP, <laughs> so whatever got 100% um, from this life and 35% from the other life, will die in turn. And normally, the damage here should still be alive, but they are not anymore. So, we are going to just test this here. Uh, as you can see, he's not executing the drakes. That's the same, not the Baron either, but you can execute this, for example. You can execute this here. Oh, I managed to get that, perfect. So you can use your skills here, you're going to apply the same damage. You can execute instantly uh, the, the minions here, the jungle comes. But not the Dragon, not the Baron. So let's see right now our ultimate. Let's summon some more because, yeah, they died. Uh, I have no idea why they died. Oh, they revive with the same stats. Amazing. I broke it. Never mind. Let's see right now our ultimate. Uh, Ari managed to kill the damage. So that means that we did so much damage that not even the game could handle it. And our ultimate, right? It's going to summon a meter and it's going to throw it from the sky. It's going to do 800, uh, 800 magic damage. Not going to, it's not going to be that high, but after getting 75 dust, uh, start dust from this, you are going to upgrade the skill and it's going to summon a bigger, a bigger meter that is also going to do a knockup. The first uh, meter is not going to do a knockup. It's going to stun the enemies and it's going to give you five start dust for its Tambion hit. The second one is going to also knock up the enemies. It's going to do a larger damage and it's also going to do a damage to the entire map. Check this out. After summoning this, we are going to do this amount of damage here. And did you see? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. You need to see something crazy here. So, after hitting this, we are collecting Stardust. Can you see? This is the first. This is the first ultimate. After using it for a while and stacking this here. Come on. Stacking this, I said. Very good. You are having the second ultimate. The second ultimate right now is also... I'm going to just put uh, one here. To see. So I'm going to put the dummy here. In order for you to see. Check this out. We are going to throw the ultimate here. And the effect is going to damage the one here, and it went all the way here. So, <laughs> we are using our ultimate here, the second ultimate after 75 Stardust. And we are damaging our champions here, all the way up here. So imagine, and slow them at the same time. So imagine to one-shot stuff from the other side of the map, just like that. And right now, you're, uh, to understand what's happening against the champion. By the way, can I kill them again? I got so damn broken, so damn broken that I, I am just destroying this. By the way, take the range of this. Take the range of this thing. Take, take this out. You are damaged. You are damaging stamions everywhere here, and on the center that's going to be here, you are going to instantly kill any, any tamion, any tamion. Okay. So let's just uh, put the minions and find the uh, bot. Why I can kill those, but I can't kill this one. It's also going to do the, uh, the magic uh, damage per second. Okay, where is the bot? 
Where are you? We need to see. Oh, by the way, it's also applying for the minions. Oh, and yeah, I totally forgot. You are pulling them. You are pulling everything towards the center. So that means that they will go the damage here, here, and here. And I press my <laughs> take the reins, <laughs> and we press this here. Everything is going towards the sender. The end of the world. The end of the world, guys. That's pretty much it. Okay. So let's go to our um, victim here. Let's go and test our powers. Yep. Our power is going to be a little bit too much for them to handle. So an ideal build that I thought about is going to be this that you can see here. We're going for a Ludens as mythic item. We're going for the stuff to have mana overall and we need the mana. So the combination of these two will, will give you enough mana together with mana flow. Yeah, we are using the meteor for a while right now. That's why you can see this number. You're going to use the mana flow right now because I think that to have the add all the time is going to be something amazing. The cooldown of this is going to be 55 seconds. So if we go... And instead of going for this, go for a Cosmic Drive, for example. Stars from here. We're going to see that the cooldown is going to be 40, 50 seconds, less than 50 seconds here. If you get a blue buff, it's going to be even lower because of the Ultimate Hunter. So to have the Ultimate Hunter is going to be something amazing. Spam the other. But the mana, the mana that you need uh, is going to be insane. So even if you got just the mana flow, it's not going to be enough. So I'm thinking about changing this into Press of Mine. And go for Tenacity, probably. To have some Tenacity is going to be amazing. Let's see the W, by the way. Let's travel top lane. So you can use the W like that and then use your Q to burn everything. It's pretty slow. I have no idea why you are so damn slow. And you can just use your Q around like that. You are the helicopter uh, dragon of death. Oh yeah! Helicopter! Oh, bird! Perfect. Okay. So, you can do that as well. Just one shot stuff with your W from the other side of the map to the other. It's pretty... Oh, wait. Right now, why we are uh, faster? Is it because of... Oh! When you are playing your Q... When you are uh, pressing your Q, you're going to be just slower. Nothing else. And you can use your skills, by the way. You can use your skills while uh, passing through to just one shot stuff. So you can use that, you can use that, you can just one saw the world. I'm not sure if they damage you. Come on, hit me. Oh, they can't stop us! That's the escape tool, guys, and it's not going to be that... Where is she? Where are you? We need to test stuff. Okay. So let's let him fight us. You can escape. Amazing. That's actually pretty amazing. <laughs> what do you want? What? That's still. So that's actually amazing. You can use it to escape. Because I have this the following question here. What will happen if the enemy just stick to you as uh, the new soul? The old soul had his R. We are going to have stun and CC overall with E and R, so you can use the E and push him towards the center, like that. And now that I'm thinking about that, this is a huge CC. Five seconds. This is five seconds, guys. Five seconds of CC, so that means that if I use that here, take this out. This is a five second CC. I'm not sure if they can uh, move. I'm not sure, but what I'm sure is that this is a little bit too big with 5,000 stacks. Let's bring some suffering. Okay, he's going to move and he's definitely not receiving damage. So it's going to be only the, only the area effect of uh, the skill that's going to increase, not the damage. That's why you're not seeing that much, but overall, to see this happening in your games, that is not going to happen. Sure, because... You're not going to have zero seconds cooldown, but it's looking pretty, pretty hell to me. And if you press your E as well, it's going to be insane. So you're going to just, oh, even better. You can just do this and throw meters to 
every side of the map, like that. Uh, in case that you want to know, to have 100% damage effect from this, it's going to be around 2,000 stacks. It's going to be 5,000. But around 2,000 stacks, 2,300, you're going to have this. In a normal game, I don't think that this is going to happen. But you never know in a 60 minutes game and if you spam your skills long enough, especially your E, I think you're going to have enough time to see around 60%. And 60% instant kill is not that low, guys. Imagine for whatever got lower than 50% HP to instantly die. So whatever you see 50% 50, 50 HP, just use your E and instantly kill it. Just like that. Okay, so... If you like what you are seeing here guys, like the video, tell me in the comments below what you think about Sol. Tell me if you want to see more of this kind of uh, react videos to talk about the builds. We are going to have the actual gameplay later on this day probably, I'm going to try to play Sol if I got the chance. But I wanted to showcase you the Ultra Sol with the 5000 stacks and have some fun. So thank you for watching, see you all in the next video.